All right, we're going to be discussing Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. It is routinely ranked among the best med schools by U.S. News and World Report. And following the $1 billion gift in 2024 that made its tuition free for all applicants coming from families earning less than $300,000 a year, its single digit acceptance rate will probably only continue to drop. With that in mind, it kind of goes without saying that you will need stellar scores and extracurriculars to get admitted, but you'll need to have great essays too. So they have a long secondary application and that plays a big role in helping you to stand out. So in this video, we're gonna go through each of the eight prompts that Johns Hopkins included on their 25 to 2026 application, which are the most recent ones available as of this recording. But of course we will update them on our site if they change in subsequent application cycles. And if you're looking for more in-depth writing strategies, we have a great YouTube series on the essay writing process for each of the six main secondary categories. You may also want to check out our secondary essay library that contains a sample essay for each of these Johns Hopkins prompts, as well as for every other prompt required by U.S. and Canadian med schools. All right, so let's jump into that first prompt. So the first prompt reads, describe a situation where you had to overcome adversity, include lessons learned and how you think it will affect your future career, your career as a future physician. They give you 300 words to respond. So this one is a classic example of an adversity prompt. And unlike some adversity prompts, they actually mention the word adversity in the prompt itself, which is nice of them. Um, a lot of applicants think that they need to have this really traumatic or shocking story to tell for adversity essays, but that's actually a pretty big misconception. You can write about an experience um, like that if it applies to you, but there are a lot of ways to successfully approach this prompt. So writing about a death in the family can be just as meaningful as writing about mediating a conflict between your friends, and it all kind of depends on how you contextualize it. So here's what adcoms are usually looking for in this type of essay. They want to know how you respond to challenges, how you manage stress, how you resolve conflicts, and how you persevere through difficulties or inconveniences. So you should be willing to be vulnerable in this essay, but you don't need to feel the need to embellish your story. Just be honest, take some time to really reflect on the emotions and thought processes that you experienced, and then describe how you're gonna take the coping mechanisms and the wisdom that you gained from this challenging experience and actively apply them to the challenges that you'll experience as a physician one day. All right, next up, prompt two reads, describe an interaction or experience that require you to understand or engage with a perspective different from your own. How did you respond and what was the outcome? They give you 300 words to respond to this one as well. So this one is pretty interesting. Uh, there are a couple of different ways that you could interpret it. At first glance, it reads a bit like a diversity prompt, but the wording of this prompt is pretty open-ended. So you could write about being the only one from your ethnic or racial background in a classroom, um, or you could write about being the only person of your gender in a workplace, or being the only person among your friends who practices a certain religion. But this prompt also gives you the chance to write about not being in the majority of a, an opinion or an experience in a given context. And that approach can also make for a really compelling essay. So just like with all the other prompts here, the most important thing though is how you contextualize and explain the situation that you choose to write about. So you don't just want to say that you were the odd one out and it made you uncomfortable. You want to go further than that. So explain how you interacted with and responded to the people around you. Describe uh, what kinds of conversations you had and how you grew as a result. And then remember that the prompt also asks you to describe the outcome. So this could be an obvious external outcome, like an unfair school policy being changed, or it could just be a more subtle kind of internal outcome, like a change in your relationship with a classmate, patient, or a neighbor. And as always, you do want to try to tie it back to your career in medicine if you can. So how did this experience help you develop communication or empathy skills that will be useful when you're treating patients or working with your colleagues in a hospital someday? All right, next up is prompt three. It reads, please review the Johns Hopkins Medicine website. Is there an area of medicine or a particular medical specialty at Johns Hopkins that interests you and why? You have 300 words to respond. So this one kind of reads like an optional essay as it's a question, but it's really not optional. You should definitely respond to it. And if you don't immediately have an answer to the question, you do want to take time to do some research so that you can answer it thoroughly. So the main thing to keep in mind here is that your answer won't bind you to a particular specialty. Med students are expected to keep an open mind, be eager to explore. So you're not locking in your path right now. You just want to show the outcome that you've thought about potential specialties or populations of interest. And then where it applies, you should also explain how you've already started exploring some of these areas through research, clinical experience, coursework, or even volunteer work. 
It's also probably a good idea to approach this essay like a why us prompt. And by that, we mean it could work in your favor to show the outcome why you would like to pursue those specific interests at Hopkins and what activities or courses you plan to get involved in as a med student to further that interest. So for example, one thing that you might wanna consider researching and discussing in your essay is specifically how you will take advantage of the Hopkins Advanced Clerkship in Medicine, or they also call it a sub-internship in medicine. It's essentially an opportunity to spend a one month rotation in an internal medicine inpatient setting and it's a really great opportunity to get a feel for what specialty or subspecialty you want to pursue for your residency. Okay, let's move on to prompt four. It reads, every future physician has a story. What's yours? Share the experience, insight, or connection that first made you see yourself in medicine and how it continues to shape your path. Again, you get 300 words here. So this one's a little bit tricky. It is new in the 25 to 2026 cycle, and it covers a lot of the same territory that you probably already covered in your personal statement essay. So you might be a little worried about repeating yourself, but the best approach here is probably to focus on the part that says, share the experience, insight, or connection that first made you see yourself in medicine. So if your personal statement tells about the time your curiosity for medicine was first peaked, or the time you fell in love with medicine, then for this essay, Focus instead on what happened next. So when did your curiosity or love for the field transform into a more tangible goal of actually becoming a doctor? What actions did you have to take in order to start moving toward that goal? So in other words, um, when did that dream start transforming into a reality and what work did you put in to make that transformation happen? You wanna really give yourself an active role in the story that you're telling here. So when did you realize that your goal was in reach? And then be sure to answer the second part of the prompt also about how this experience continues to shape your path, meaning how it keeps you oriented toward your specific goals and informs the choices that you make along the way. Um, by the way, it's okay if some of the same life experiences or anecdotes from your personal statement also get mentioned here. In fact, it might actually raise a red flag if there's no overlap at all between the stories that you tell here and in the other essay. Um, but just be sure that this essay tells those stories from a different angle and explores different ideas or insights. Okay, we're making good progress. Let's move on to prompt five. And this one is a little bit of a deep dive. So it's on the longer side and it reads, what draws you to Johns Hopkins School of Medicine? Reflect on how our mission, culture, and academic community align with your values, experiences, and aspirations as a future physician. In your response, please highlight specific aspects of both the Hopkins community, academic research, and or extracurricular opportunities, and the Baltimore community, particularly the patients and families that we serve. Elaborate on how you intend to actively engage with and contribute to both of these communities as you pursue your medical education. You have 300 words. So whereas prompt three asks you to describe um, why Johns Hopkins is the best fit for you to fulfill your academic and professional interests, this prompt kind of flips it and asks you to reflect on how you're a great fit for them. So you really wanna focus on a few key words here, mission, culture, community, values, engage and contribute. You might kind of pick up on a unifying theme as you ponder those words. How are you a good fit for their institution and the surrounding community? In other words, how do your values align with theirs as an institution? Can you give examples from your life so far to demonstrate that? And also, how do you plan to get actively involved on and around campus? So what skills, traits, or insights will you contribute? And then also importantly, how will you invest in the community there? So show them that you've done your research on the demographics of the patients that you'd be serving as a med student there and what their needs are. So it should be clear that you didn't just copy and paste this essay from your secondaries for another school and swap out the school names. All right, so we actually have made it through all of the required prompts. The sixth prompt is optional. So let's take a look at that and it reads, would you like to share any additional information with the admissions committee about yourself that cannot be found elsewhere in your application? This space can also address any extenuating circumstances such as explained gaps in work experience, choice of recommenders, inconsistent or questionable academic performance, areas of weakness, et cetera, that you would like the admissions committee to consider. You have 300 words. So we typically encourage students to respond to optional prompts like this because they're a great chance to show another side of yourself that you haven't had a chance to show in other essays for the school yet. So you might even repurpose an essay from another school secondaries if you feel it can add something new to this application. In past years, uh, Johns Hopkins actually had a prompt commonly referred to as the wonder prompt. They removed it for the 25 to 2026 admission cycle, but it does give us a glimpse into what the outcome clearly values in an applicant. And it might not be quite what you expect. 
So it actually asked applicants to write about a recent time when they experienced wonder in everyday life. And it explicitly encouraged them to write about an experience that was not related to medicine or science. So with that in mind, you might want to consider taking this opportunity to demonstrate your intellectual curiosity, your interests outside of medicine, your personality, or even unique hobbies. So for example, you might write about a movie or a performance you watched, a piece of music that you listened to that really impacted you, a natural phenomenon that you observed that had a big impact, um, even how you spend your free time outside of classwork, volunteer work, and clinical opportunities. And then you want to describe what this experience that you've chosen to write about taught you about yourself or others or the world around you. On the other hand, it is perfectly okay to use this space to take the other route that the prompt mentions, addressing extenuating circumstances, but be aware that the following two, if applicable, prompts will give you the opportunity to address some of those things. And with that, let's take a look at those prompts as well. So prompt seven reads, please describe what you have been doing since graduation and your plans for the upcoming year. You have 300 words again here. This prompt only applies to applicants who have already graduated college at the time that they're applying to medical school. So for example, if you're reapplying to medical school um, or to Johns Hopkins specifically, this is a really good chance to explain what you have learned, how you've grown, or how you've made good use of your time since applying last year. Or if you just took time off school to work or save money, um, take care of family obligations, consider career options, you can write about that too. And if you're transitioning out of a different career field into medicine, this is also a very important essay for you. So whatever your case, don't sweat the fact that you maybe fall into a category of non-traditional student. The average age of medical students in the US is steadily rising and non-traditional students are becoming increasingly common among the classes of incoming medical students. So with that, uh, we come to our final prompt. Prompt eight, which is also an if applicable prompt. And it reads, we recognize academic journeys can be complex and varied. If applicable, please briefly explain any withdrawals, incompletes, or academic coursework grades below a B on your transcript. Your application helps us understand your academic history better and how you have overcome challenges. You have 300 words to respond here, as with all of the other essays. So a lot of med school applicants think that they have to present themselves as the perfect student and the perfect future physician, um, because there's a lot of pressure, of course, to appear like you have all the answers. But in reality, a really good med student and a good physician won't always have all of the answers. However, they will be flexible enough to learn and grow from mistakes. And that's what you want to demonstrate in an essay like this. So if you feel the need to respond to this prompt, don't fall into the trap of over explaining the circumstances surrounding your low grade history or whatever your circumstances may be. Um, don't feel like you need to hide things or make excuses. For example, if you took some time off during college or you had to retake a class, you can just be honest. Um, I just want to be sure to devote a good chunk of your response to describing how you grew or what you learned during that period. And as you do that, do keep in mind the AAMC's pre-med competencies for entering med students on their website and try to reflect those values as you describe how you've overcome challenges in your academic history. All right, so that's it for the Johns Hopkins prompts. We hope you find it useful as you work on your Johns Hopkins secondaries. And if you're looking for sample essays for each of these prompts or sample essays for literally every prompt required by med schools in the US and Canada, do check out our secondary essay premium example hub. We've got over 1600 essays in total. Take care.